So, first of all, we'll work out two examples. The first example is of uh, a first example is on a torque free motion. So here the spacecraft. This is a spacecraft. This is a spacecraft, and the spacecraft is symmetric about this small z axis. And this small x, small y, small z axis is a non-spinning frame. That is, that means it is spinning. It is sorry. That means it is precessing and nutating. That means the small the small z is precessing. Small small x y z is precessing and nutating, but not spinning. And here, the radius of gyration of seven twenty millimeter about this axis. So i z z, which according to Merriam's notation is i is m into point seven two not square. And the radius radii of gyration about the x and y axis through the mass x center are both equal to five forty meter. That means the radius of gyration of x about x and y, which according to Merriam's notation is i not. Is equal to m into point five four zero square. When moving in the space, the z axis is observed to generate a cone with a total vertex angle of four degree as it precesses about the axis of total angular momentum. <coughs> Here, see the weight acts through this point, and about this point there is. the weight cannot create any moment so about this g it is a torque free motion so the angular momentum about g is a constant vector in inertial reference constant means its magnitude and its direction neither changes so it remains constant in inertial reference and the angle between this small z axis and this angular momentum axis is Theta, which is two degree. This is the angle of nutation, which is two degree. If the spacecraft has a spin velocity phi dot about its z axis of one point five radian per second, compute the period tau of each full precession. Each full precession means the z rotates about this and comes back to its original position. That is one complete revolution. So, what is the period of one? Complete revolution. <coughs> so, is the spin vector in the positive or negative z direction? So, since this is the torque-free motion, these are the two relation. The first relation is tan theta equal to i naught by i tan beta. What is tan theta? What is theta? Theta is ang this angle. And what is beta? Beta is the angle between the angular velocity vector. Angular velocity vector and this z axis. So beta is the angle between the angular velocity vector omega and this spin axis z. And psi dot, the relation between psi dot and phi dot is this. So if you use this relation, you get a negative value of psi dot. A negative value of psi dot means it is not not about this. Psi dot is not about this in the upward direction, but in the downward direction but if you take psi dot in the upward direction your phi dot has to be negative so in our case phi dot is negative so if phi dot is minus 1.5 then you get psi dot to be positive and what is tau that is twice pi one complete revolution by the <coughs> rate of precession and this is the period And what is angle beta? Angle theta is given as two degree, that is two pi by one eighty radian. This means tan beta is this, and beta is this much in degree. So beta is greater than beta is greater than theta, which shows that it is a case of retrograde precession. Now let us go to the problem number two. 
problem number two. The problems are taken from Miriam Craig, Miriam Craig seventh edition. A small air compression, a small air compression for an aircraft cabin consists of 3.50 kg turbine A is a turbine 3.50 kg which drives the 2.40 kg blower B at a speed of 20,000 revolution per minute. The shaft of the assembly is mounted transversely to the direction of flight. It is transversely fitted in the direction of flight. That means the flight is going inside the paper. That means the aircraft is, the direction of motion of the aircraft is inside the paper. The shaft of the assembly is mounted transversely to the direction of the flight and is viewed from the rear of the aircraft in the figure. That means the aircraft is moving in from, from us to the inside of the paper. The radii of gyration of A and B are given. Calculate the radial forces exerted on the shaft by the bearings. Calculate the radial forces exerted on the shaft by the bearings at C and D. By the bearings at C and D, if the aircraft executes a clockwise roll, that means clockwise roll of 2 radian per second viewed from the rear of the aircraft. Neglect the small moments caused by the weights of the rotors. Draw the free body diagram of the shaft as viewed from above and indicate the shape of its reflected center line. Okay, so see this figure. From this, this is the turbine. So for the turbine, this is the spin speed. The spin speed, so positive in this direction. This is the spin speed. And clockwise roll, this green one is roll. The clockwise roll is positive. So this is, sorry, the clockwise, the aircraft is rolling in the clockwise direction. So this is omega p and this is the spin speed direction omega s. So, so the moment acting on the, so the moment acting on the turbine must be i omega p omega s and omega p to omega s. So it must be downward. So m a is the moment acting on the turbine. MA is the moment, moment acting on the turbine is this 91 point. This is mass into radius of gyration square. This gives you I about this axis. This gives I about this axis into uh, the into this is omega P. This is 2 radian per second and this is omega S spin speed. 2000 into 2 pi by 60 radian per second. So IP omega P omega S and this is 91.49498 Newton. Uh, should it be millimeter? It's Newton. M Newton. It should be meter, I think. Because this is mk square kg meter square and this is radian per second, radian per second, kg meter square by second square. So kg meter per second square is Newton and 1 meter is there. So this is 91.498 meter. Here also for this compress for this blower, mb is mk square into omega p omega s so 50.678 newton meter so now see if the moment if the moment on the turbine is this direction this is the moment vector actually that's why we have put double arrow there's a moment vector in this direction moment on the uh, blower in the downward direction so on the shaft there will be the reactions like this. Okay. 
so now if you this is the shaft here there are bearings and if you look at the top top view this is the front view and this is the top view this is ma this is mb and there are these are the two bearings from the bearing so this couple plus this couple is this one so the reaction should be such that the couples coming from the reaction so that a couple a couple should come from the reaction because for force balance rc has to be equal to rd and the couple due to that is couple due to rc and rd is rc multiplied by this distance which is 0.150 meter or 150 millimeter so rc into 0.150 must be equal to ma plus mb so this is the rc value would be this and <clears throat> so that means this is the figure so the moment is this so the the light blue line shows the center line this moment is this so due to this this moment it will bend in this direction and due to this bending moment it will bend in this direction so this would be the bent center line of the shaft